So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we're going to be taking a look at this issue which you might be facing which is invalid toolchain if you're trying to submit your applications on App Store. Now if you have just updated to Mac OS Catalina or even if you're facing this issue and you're on some beta operating system from Mac OS then this is a pretty common issue a lot of people face. Now I'm going to show you how to fix this and actually be able to update, uh, upload your IPA files to app stores successfully. Now this issue occurs only when you have successfully built your application, you have completed all the process, submitted your application all the way to app store connect and then you when you press for submit for review, it changes your status to waiting for review and then finally you get this email. And then finally you get an invalid bundle that is not really this one then you get something like invalid binary right so you're gonna get this email which pretty much means that the reason for this email was invalid toolchain so if you have an email something like this from Apple let's see how you can fix that on your Mac OS so first things first just go ahead and restart your Mac right once you restart your Mac, when you hear the starting sound of your Mac, um, which uh, you can hear at the very start when your MacBook is starting, before the Apple logo appears, just press Command R on your keyboard. Keep pressing Command R and you're gonna go into Mac OS recovery mode. Once you're in that, go to Utilities, Terminal. And once you're in the terminal, write the following command you, you see on the screen. This basically means you disable system integrity protection because now we are going to actually change some setting in system so as to Apple App Store can accept our build file, right? So once you disable that, you have to reboot into your original operating system. All right, so once you're back in your Mac, make sure you have Xcode closed and launch your terminal. Your terminal might look different than mine, but you just have to follow along. So once you're inside your terminal, write CSR util and status, and you should be seeing that system integrity protection is disabled, right? So once you do that, what you have to do is write this command right here. Again, this is in the description. You can copy paste sudo nano dash w and this path and hit enter, right? All right. So once you're in here, what you should be able to see is that as you can see, I'm running Mac OS X with 10.15, that is Mac OS Catalina, right? But what you're gonna see right here is another build version. If you're running Mac OS Catalina Beta, what you're gonna see something here should look something like here. Um, there we go, 19A471T, right? Just change this build number from 19A47 to 18F203 which is actually the build version of 10.14.5 that is 10.14. Um, <clears throat> it's basically Mac OS Mojave build number. Now this is not exactly the same as this one but <clears throat> it is in the same 10.14 series. So once you do that what happens is now Xcode will think that you are developing this on mac os mojave and it's going to send that information to app store which is going to accept your build so once you do that just go ahead and press ctrl x which is going to save your file if you make changes and restart your xcode right also make sure you restart your computer do the all the same process but this time run csr util csr util enable in the mac os recovery terminal to enable your system integrity protection right you have to do this from your recovery part so once you do that you should be good to go just go ahead and give it a try now try to submit your apps to app store i've seen i've submitted mine and it works so yeah this is a light little hack for people who want to try out beta operating systems as well as submit to app store simultaneously so that's what you need to do so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you then in the next one.